Welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to build a pit fire kiln out of an oil drum. It is, in my opinion, one of the most fun ways to fire pottery and I love the outcome of it. And another important thing is, it's one of the cheapest ways that you can ever build your own kiln, depending on how much you have to pay for the oil drum. So let's get on with it. build the kiln, first of all, you need, of course, the oil drum. And there are at least two different kinds of oil drums that you need to be aware of. I like these big ones. I think they're 200 liters and about 55 centimeters wide and 89 centimeters high. And so it's nice and big and you can have a lot of pottery in that. But one thing you have to be aware of is that one kind have the lid sort of welded onto it or hammered onto it and you can't really remove it so you need to cut it off that doesn't work for the uh, pit fire kiln this one have this i don't know what you call it but you can loosen the lid like this you can take this off we're not going to use this so you can throw that away and now the lid is easy to take off so we can take it off and we can put it back um, after we're done with the initial fire so that's the basic. Then you need a couple of tools. It's actually very little. Uh, you need a drill and you need some good drill bits. Uh, I found that even though this is not, this is not steel, it's just iron. Um, so most drill bits will be able to go through this. But what I found is that it's so much easier if you invest in some, um, some uh, steel, uh, 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 drill bits. Uh, this one was quite cheap in a, in a builder's market um, because it just goes so much easier when you when you drill it. Uh, I take um, I use the biggest ones in the kit. I think it's uh, 10 millimeters or so one centimeter. That seems to be sufficient. So what we need to do is we want to we want to drill some holes. Uh, to be able to get some suction, some air into the um, into the oil drum when we fire it. So what I'm doing, and I found that that to work really well, is I drill a, a few holes at the bottom, and I drill a few holes uh, relatively low, so about five centimeters, um, and I'm going to show you later why. And then I'm going to drill some a little higher uh, up here. So let's get on with that. Oh yeah, one thing when you do drill this. Remember to wear a mask because sometimes these uh, metal uh, pieces fly out and you definitely don't want to get that in your eyes. So be careful with that. I also use some gloves because again, it can be a little bit sharp and stuff. So you don't want to hurt yourself. So let's get on with the drilling. Just to make sure that it's not moving too much around when you're drilling, I usually take a couple of stones and uh, put them on each side of it. Then it's kind of stable. And uh, just gonna take the Safety glasses on, like that. And now we're ready to drill. Now, I just made three of them, but I mean, you can make some more if you like. The more you make, of course, the more air you're gonna suck in. However, I'm also gonna do some on the sides, so I found that, that just a few holes down there is enough. I'm gonna drill just a couple more. So I think that's it for the button for now. The next step is to um, drill the holes in the side of it. Uh, and for that, I find that it's easiest to put it on the ground because that way you can, you can apply some pressure. Uh, this just makes the drilling a whole lot easier. So let's get on with that. As I said, I'm gonna drill some holes 
that are just five centimeters or something um, above the, the bottom and then I'm going to drill some that are maybe 20 centimeters and uh, in the end of this video I'm going to show you why. That's it! Now you have your kiln! <laughs> it's that easy, it only takes a few minutes. There is, however, a few things that I recommend that you do, that I always do. Uh, I mean, basically this is ready for fire, but this one, as you can see, this one, I don't know if you can see it, but this one had paint inside. So there's some, some leftovers of this uh, paint. I mean, you could go ahead and just fire it, uh, because it's going to burn away. You can also put a little bit of gasoline or some, some wood or something and fire it and it will go away. It will be, be blackened inside, of course, but it will be that eventually anyway. Um, but we, do, we don't really need to do that right now, because I'm going to show you um, a couple of tricks that uh, I'm using. One of the challenges in doing pit fire is to get it warm enough. We want the temperature to be as high as possible. And to do that, we need oxygen. We need some, some uh, air to flow into the, to the oil drum. That's why we do the hole. But since we're going to pack it uh, sawdust and, and firewood and stuff like that, if we just put it at the bottom, the suction from the hose in the bottom is not going to be as efficient as it could be. So what I found is that placing a, a grid, and, and I found this in the biggest market, it's a bonfire grid, uh, it's made of cast iron, um, so it can sustain the, the, the heat of the fire. It is made for fire, but it's for, it's not for heat fire, but uh, for, for building. So you see, this is a uh, very solid uh, cast iron, and this is going to last almost forever. And this one was only 400 English kroner, what is that? $30, 30 dollars, something like that. It wasn't that expensive, and uh, and it's uh, going to last almost forever. And about this, is it? So you can actually, uh, you can see these handles on, it makes it very convenient to put it into um, I already have one uh, that I use for my other I already have one, but I'm just making another one today. Uh, so let's take a look at that. This one can be used quite a few times, and as you can see, it gets dirty and stuff, but this is just ashes, uh, the iron is going to last you almost a lifetime. And these handles are very convenient because that way you can just very convenient. So what I do is I place a couple of fire bricks, uh, and they need to be fire bricks because they need to sustain um, the heat. I got these uh, fire bricks for the building uh, project that I'm also uh, working on. So I put these fire bricks into the, into the oil drum.
So, that's it. This is the reason that I built the holes um, about five centimeters uh, above the bottom and another round of them uh, a little higher. Because now you see the lower holes below the grid and, and the high holes are above the grid. And in my experience, that gives the best airflow. Um, so it works out great for me. So you can try that. So now, you, you ready? Was this fast? It, it, it only took me like five minutes or something. And it's ready to find out. Except for one thing. And that is the location and the placement of the oil drum. So let's take a look at that. The secure best airflow again is something that is uh, crucial to getting the, the, the maximum heat in the, in the drum. Uh, I like to raise the drum a little bit. You can use uh, normal uh, stones like this. Um, you're not going to get that warm so we uh, just some 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 stones left over. Um, and so they work fine. So, that's it. Now you see there's some space in here, uh, which helps uh, the so, Now we are ready. Just remember, I keep this outside all year round. Uh, it will rust all the time, but they last, I mean, the, the one I have here next to me lasted a couple of years, and they're so cheap, and they're so fast to make. So you don't have to take too much care of them. Buy a new one if it's worn out. Uh, the grid inside is going to last <laughs> almost forever. Just remember to put the heat on. with water it's much easier when you leave it like that so that's it for today i hope you enjoyed it and learned how to make your own kiln it is as i said super easy i have been lucky enough to find these on, uh, on flea markets and and uh, uh, second hand shops and stuff uh, they use it in, in industrial uh, use uh, car makers and, and so on and I paid only I think 10 20 dollars for these uh, uh, barrels so they're very uh, cheap to get um, this weekend I'm gonna do some uh, pit I have a lot of parts that are already this ready to go so uh, I hope to see you soon again and if you like what I'm doing here on my YouTube channel please subscribe make a comment if you have any questions or just like to comment and share with your friends if you like to I hope to see you soon again. Have a good day.